This video is how to load film onto the ALM3230 automatic laminator. Your film will come with two rolls in a box and you will notice with these rolls that one end has black tape on it. Okay, that end has got to go to the side that has the black dot. So you want to match the black tape to the black dot. Now you may have to release these uh, tensioner knobs, but you want to take your film and you want to drop it in. It snaps into place and then you want to do these up so that there's a, a bit of drag on the, on, the, on the film. Okay, so it doesn't feel you want to, um, it should be stiff to turn with one hand if you can freewheel it with one finger like I'm doing right now, it's probably not enough. If you have to get both hands on and turn it, it's too much. So one, one hand grip it, it should turn, it should turn freely, but there should be drag on it. Okay, then the second roll or the lower roll is the same way. It's got a black dot over on this side. So you want to have your roll of film in and then you want to adjust the tensioners so that it's the same amount of drag on the top and on the bottom. You want to have that tension balanced so that it has the same amount of drag on it top and bottom. If you have too much tension on your top or maybe I should say more tension on the top than the bottom when your sheets come out they will be curled up. Vice versa if you have more tension on the bottom or more drag then your sheets will come out curled down and you'll know how to adjust it then by either increasing the one or decreasing the other whichever way it needs to go. The next step in threading the film is to open the front panel like this and you'll see this lower idler bar down here. This lower idler bar needs to be removed and it's quite easy to do. You just take your hand, pull it over, it's spring loaded, this lower bar comes out. So just, I'll do it out here, it's spring loaded. You just pull it over and lift it out of the way. The film needs to go behind this idler bar, that film that comes up from the bottom roll. So that's why they make this removable. So what we're going to do, first of all now with that removed, we're going to take this upper film here. We usually take it and cut off the outside wrap. I've already done that on this roll of film, so we're not going to do it again. And we're going to come down like this and hang it down just past the bottom red rubber roller. Just past the bottom, okay? We'll just leave it like that. Then the bottom roll, we will, again, cut off the outside wrap. And you'll wanna bring it up until it is just overlapping up here like this. And then you want to take a piece of good packing tape and tape the two of them together. Maybe wise to use a, a small piece of packing tape first or have somebody help you hold it up there, but you want to tape this together really good. The point of taping this together is so that when we push the film through the laminator, it does not the, the film stays together. If you don't tape it, the danger is when you try and push the threading card through the laminator as I'm going to do right now, you want to get it going through the laminator. You may have to use your hand and create a little bit of slack in the, in the rolls down below and up above. Freewheel some film off if you want to push that through. until you have the threading card quite a bit of the way through the machine. There shouldn't be 
more than about an inch of the film sticking out. Okay, uh, or of the paper, of the threading card paper sticking out. Then you want to just pull these guys back a little bit till they're tight. And then you want to leave, leave enough slack in here so that you can put this bar back in in front of the film. So it goes into the hole on the side over there. And then just push it to the left and slide it in here and let it pop into its hole on the right. Okay, that's... Now you can lock the lever closed and I just roll these guys back then and make sure they're tight. Make sure just so that they are, they're not, there's no loose film in here or loose film in here. Okay. You can do it with the rollers hot if you want, but obviously you have to be careful that you don't get burned. The, the advantage of doing it with it hot is that those two pieces of film will seal themselves together and you don't need to use tape. The disadvantage of doing it with it hot is that you can burn yourself and also when you're threading the piece of paper through, the rollers when they're hot have more drag on them. You'll have to be careful to make sure that you get the film loose and it can also crinkle up and self stick itself together. So we recommend doing it cold with tape. Sometimes you don't have enough time to wait that long and so you can do it hot but just be careful of those things. Sometimes you can also cut the film right here. If you cut the film right here with a knife and leave this piece of film there you can bring the new one in and just lay it down over top of it and stick it together. The same thing with the bottom. You can cut the piece of film. You do have to get the film behind this steel bar you do have to get it behind there again, but you can just um, stick it together and then it'll all pull itself through. So those are the options for loading the laminator. Now we are going to turn the laminator on and it will take a minute to heat up. In the meantime, we're going to do another video here going over the operation of the control panel.